and interesting organ. Let me get a region where I can show you everything, yes. So from inside to outside, from here to here is mucosa, this is a mucosa, and from here up to the dark line, the dark line represents the serosa. The dark line, can you see the dark line? And immediately below the dark line begins the muscularis. And remember, in stomach, there, are, there is an additional layer. So the layer just next to submucosa is the, is the oblique layer. This is oblique muscularis. This is from here to here, circular muscularis, and from here to here, longitudinal muscularis. Okay? Now, this is the lumen of the stomach, and stomach is, is a unique feature. These are called the gastric pits. You see? These, these are gastric pits, and these are gastric glands. Gastric glands are located in lamina propria. You look at the outermost of the mucosa, this is muscularis mucosae. This is made of smooth muscle cells. These are gastric glands. Gastric glands open into the gastric pit and these are the openings of the gastric pit. So the gastric secretion will come into the lumen where there will be food and the gastric secretions will be thoroughly mixed in the lumen for mechanical processing and chemical processing, okay? And the activity, the motility of the stomach will depend on the activities of the muscularis here, and also activities of the muscularis mucosae. Can you see this? Uh, this nodule, dark, can you see that? That's a mucosa associated lymphatic tissue, or you can call it lymphatic nodule. So most mucosa-associated lymphatic tissue is a lymphatic nodule, okay? You can identify either that as malt or lymphatic nodule, both would be correct. All right, uh, I'll take you to uh, the serosa and you see the dark line, but you'll, you'll see, I bet you'll see the cells of the simple epithelium, uh, simple uh, squamous epithelium. Those are flat cells. So let me magnify. This is a little bit higher magnification. And you can see the nucleus or nuclei of the flat cells. Those darkly stained, can you see? And uh, even, you will see better under even higher magnification. There you go. <laughs> it's highly magnified, it's, it's about 800 or more times magnified these cells. You can see the nucleus. Very thin areolar connective tissue and these, these are the smooth muscle cells of the longitudinal layer. But I don't have to come to this magnification. Why is it called longitudinal? 
because of the orientation of the muscle cells longitudinal. And why this, look at that, this is circular. Can you see how the cells are arranged? These are the smooth muscle cells, spindle-shaped. These cells are oriented circularly. Do you get that? So when you make a section, the longitudinal cells will be cut like this, as if you're looking from top, like as it appears right here. You see the nuclei of the longitudinal cells. You, you can hardly see the cells. You see the nuclei. Because you're looking from top. OK? Uh, OK, I, I have to go back to lower magnification to show you other features in this. Because uh, there are stomach tissues from three different regions. Now I'm going to go and explain the gastric pits. There you go. This is the opening of the gastric pit. Gastric pit, if you follow gastric pit, it ends up in gastric gland. These are, these are gastric glands, okay? Because this is a cross section, so the glands have been cut. They appear circular. This is gastric pit, so is this. So if you make a section, it will appear like this. This is the lumen of the stomach. Okay, if there is a pointer, identify the structure or the feature, gastric pit. Which part do you say would be the lumen when you go lower down into it? Mm -hmm. This is the gastric gland. Uh -huh. Gastric pit is from here to here. And, and this is the opening of the gastric pit. Okay. Uh, in the lecture, I'll show you the, the scanning electron micrograph to look at the surface anatomy of the cell, and you will be able to uh, look at those uh, openings of the gastric pits, you know, surrounded by uh, surface mucous cells, because there are, there are at least four different kinds of exocrine cells and one kind of uh, endocrine cell that form the gastric gland. And you have all these features, you know, from uh, uh, on page, what, what are those pages of gastric gland? The, uh, it's 902, 903, 904. Uh, this, that page, that this page. One? Yeah, Nine, yeah. 904. 904, if you look at 904, you can see individual gastric gland and the different cells, you know, Sorry, for. I didn't get that. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, look, I, I also, I do have a cell phone, you know, but <laughs> it's, it's, on, it. it's, it's on silent mode, okay? Or vibration mode, please. And, and, and by the way, you know, uh, emergency. Like, if you take, if you must take a call, you know, just excuse yourself and go outside, please, okay? Uh, 